Hi guys, welcome back to another at home martial arts class with X Martial Arts Schools. Thank you for joining in and remember we need you to post pictures in the comments of you taking part, post videos and ask any questions that you have and we will come back to you as well. And throughout this video we're going to set you a little challenge and ask you some questions as we go along. I'm joined today by some of our fantastic team of instructors and they're going to take a section of your class each. So Mrs Britland's going to take your warm up and then we're going to move through our instructors with the rest of our content. Again thank you for joining us, keep up your training, keep learning and keep progressing. Okay so hands and feet together. Start with a bow, and then I'm going to take you over to Mrs. Britland. Hi guys, Miss Britland here. I'm here to take your warm up today. All we're going to start with is we're going to put our hands and feet together, and I'm going to bow in to start with. Okay, let's get warm. Okay, high knees, nice and high. So we've got Mr. Pritchard and Miss Burnett with us taking part in our warm up with you. Okay, who can get their knees the highest? Let's have a look at these guys. They're all the way up to their waist, nice and high. Okay, let's change it. Flick them legs back. Try and kick your butt. So as you can see, flick them legs back. Okay, let's make it a little bit harder. Put your guard up. Keep that weight on your arms. And keep going, keep going. Okay, 10 high knees. So 10 to the front. Once you've done your 10, flick it to the back. Okay, who can get them knees nice and high? Put them legs right to the back. Good. And let's count with us, guys. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And time to shake your legs off. Okay, so our next one we're going to do is we're going to start with a nice big star jump. After each one, touch down in between. Are you ready? Off we go, guys. Perfect, nice and big. Bend them knees, make sure you're using your legs up. After you start jump, really bend down, touch up. That's it, keep going guys. Well done. Perfect. Okay guys, let's make it a touch harder. Okay, we're going to put that jump on there. So nice big jump, make it into a jumping jack. So you're going to do two touchdown star jumps. After your second one, one nice big jumping jack. Off you go, guys. So one and two, and then a nice big one. Well done, guys. Are you at home managing to jump nice and high? See how high you can jump? Fantastic. Keep going, guys. Keep going. Okay, let's make it a little bit harder every two now. So one normal. Okay, then one big jumping jack. Off we go. One normal touchdown. One big jumping jack. Perfect, get that heart racing. Nearly there, nearly there. You've got 10 seconds left. How many can you get in in the 10 seconds? Let us know at home how many you're getting in in this last 10. Keep pushing, keep pushing. And time, relax. Shake your hands off, shake your legs off, get your breath back. Okay, so our next one, we're going to build our squats up. So for 30 seconds, we're going to come nice and low. Try and warm your arms up, push them back at the same time, okay? Ready? Nice and low, guys. Boom. Nice and low. Try and get your hips in line with your knee and push back up. That's it. Back nice and straight. Keep going. How many can you do in 30 seconds? That's it, fire them out. Keep going, keep going. You've got 10 seconds left. Keep pushing. Keep going, keep going, keep going. And tap them. Okay, so our next one we're going to do, just put a bit more pressure on our legs. We're going to pulse here. So nice and low. As you can see I, from when I turn to the side, just little bounces, okay? You're not going far, you can keep your guard up, you can put your hands in front of you, whichever you feels best for you, okay? Are you ready? 30 seconds again. Nice and low, off we go. Pulse it out. That's it, warm them hips up, keeping the pressure on our legs. This is a great thing if you're at home, you can read a book while doing this and keep the pressure 
on them legs, build them muscles up, ready for some kicks later on. Keep going guys. That's it, keep pulsing them. Nice work. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Can you pulse as low as this, these guys? Try and really get nice and low, but not too low where your hips pass your knees. Five seconds, four, three, two, one, and time. Okay, shake them legs off. It does put a lot of pressure on your legs. So make sure in between you are shaking them off. Okay, so our next one, we're gonna put a jump on there, make it into a power squat. Really put lots of pressure on our legs. So down, push up nice and high. Make sure as you land, you're landing with a bent knee. If you land with a straight leg, you're gonna damage your legs, okay? Don't hurt them knees, keep them nice and safe. So push up, land down. Are you ready guys? 30 seconds again, off we go. So low, push high, land straight into that next one. Well done guys, keep going. That's it, push nice and high. How high can you jump guys? Can you touch the ceiling as you jump high? You juniors, test, have a competition with mums, dads, see if you can beat how high they jump. Well done guys, keep going. 10 seconds left. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Can you get five more in? Three, two, one, and time. Relax, shake them legs off. Okay. So we're really working these legs in our warm up today. So we're going to move on to some lunges. We're going to do similar to what we've just done with the squat. We're going to start by nice long lunges. Try and have your hands on your hips or guard up, okay? As you step out, try and step out a length's worth, making sure your back leg is at a right angle and then push back up. Are you ready for it? Seconds, guys. Off we go. That's it, nice and long, don't let your fat curl over. Keep nice, straight posture. Keep going guys, well done. That's it, hands on your hips, or guard up. Perfect, keep going guys. Don't let that knee touch the floor. Perfect, well done, well done. Good work. Each set we're working is for 30 seconds, so try and keep pushing through. Nearly there guys, keep pushing, keep pushing. Five seconds, try and get a couple more in, can you get the last couple in guys? And time. Okay, so our next one, we're going back to them pulses like we worked on our squat. We're going to come into the lunge position. You don't want to come too high, we're going to come nice and low. Don't let that knee touch the floor and tiny little bounces, okay? Keep that back straight. Are you ready? We're going to go for 20 seconds on each side on this one, guys. Off you go. Can you manage the full 20 seconds? It is tough, so if you need to break it down and do 10 seconds, go for it. If not, try and push through and do the full 20 seconds without standing up. That's it, nice and low. You've got a choice. Mr. Pritchard's got his guard up. Miss Burnett's using her hips. Five seconds on this side. Four, three, two, one, and time. Shake them legs off. Okay, so we're going to change. You're going to go the other side. Exactly the same. Nice and low. You ready? Off we go. Perfect. Well done, guys. That's it. Keep going, keep going. Nearly there. Are you managing? Are your legs managing? It's a little bit tougher now as we build from the basic squats and lunges to our advanced squats and lunges. Keep going in the leg nice and low. Three, two, one, and time. Give them legs a shake, guys. Okay, so our final one we're gonna work is a power lunge. They are quite tricky. They involve lots of balance. Have you guys got the balance at home? Sometimes you might need your arms out. So make sure there's nothing too close to you that you are going to knock. So you're going to step out with a normal lunge, come down, push through your toes, straight up, straight into your next one. Okay, I'll show you from the side, guys. So here, push up, jump straight into your next one. Same as our squat, make sure you land with a bent leg. Are you ready? 30 seconds. Off you go. These ones are very tough, guys. You might need to stop and shake your legs off in between, but try and push through the full 30 seconds. 
Keep going, guys. Well done. How high can you push up on your lunge? Push through your toes rather than through uh, just your legs. Push right through them calves. Good work, nearly there. Perfect, well done. You've got 10 seconds. Keep going, guys. How many can you do in 10 seconds? The out of? Can you manage five? Keep going, keep going. Three, two, one, and time. Okay, we're just going to give our legs a little shake okay so what's gonna happen now is i'd like you to go away we're gonna grab a quick drink when we come back miss burnett's gonna take our first part of our content okay guys first of all bow out grab yourself a drink hi guys so miss burnett here i'm gonna be taking the first part of your content today so hands feet together bow in okay so where you are if you go into your boxing stance one foot at the front one foot at the back and then pop your hands up in your guard for me to start off with, you've got a 30 second round and all I want you to do is build your straight punches up, okay? So you'll do two straight punches and then fire your front kick off your back leg. And then next time you will do four straight punches, fire that front kick and every time, see how many punches you can get up to building up in twos in that 30 seconds, okay? If you get a little bit confused, watch these guys behind me, okay? So are you ready? Guard up, three, two, one, off you go. So start on two, fire that front kick and then four perfect okay so keep building up those numbers good work notice how these guys their arms are nice and straight they're twisting their bodies every single time firing that front kick out good work good try and set your goal try and see what number you can get up to good work keep going guys Okay, you've got 15 seconds left. You're halfway there now. Perfect. Try to speed it up now. Keep those hands nice and straight. Bring your hands back to your guard every time. Awesome. Challenge yourself at home. Test yourself, okay? Five seconds left. Keep going. Three, two, one. And time. Okay, so give your arms a shake off. We're going to get into a combination now. So again, in that boxing stance with your guard up, you've got two nice straight punches. Your front hand, you're going to do a hook punch. So elbow comes nice and high, point that thumb up, twist all the way around, and then your back hand, you're going to do an uppercut, pushing up. Okay, so again, jab, cross, lead hook punch, rear uppercut every time I count. Okay, so in your boxing stance, guard up on your toes, guys. One, jab, cross, hook. Uppercut, perfect. Back on your toes. Two, jab, cross, hook, uppercut. Good, keep going, stay on your toes. Three, one, two, three, four. And back on your toes, keep that guard up, guys. Four, off, five, set, 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 set. Good, keep going. Remember those nice sounds, sounds guys. Six, set, 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 set. And again, seven, set, 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 set. next round guys you've got one minute on this and you're going to build that combination up so again if you get a little bit confused just watch the instructors so the first time you'll do a jab okay you will step back do one star jump then you'll go again but this time jab cross step back one star jump third time jab cross lead hook punch one star jump and then jab cross hook uppercut for your full combination again with that one star jump okay so you're going to keep repeating that routine for one minute. Okay, you ready guys? Guard up. On your toes to me. Off you go. One minute. Two star jump. Jab. One star jump. And then again. Jab across. One star jump. Perfect. Keep building it up guys. Good. Remember that guard. Nice big star jump when you're at home. Perfect. Good work guys. Okay, good. Nice big star jump. Okay, so you're halfway there, you've got 30 seconds left. Good work. Okay, 20 seconds left, guys. See how many more you can do. Okay, nearly there. 10 seconds left. Try and see if you can get two more. Okay, test yourself. 
And time, perfect. Okay, so again, give yourself a little shake off. We're going to change our combination this time. So again, you're going to be in that boxing stance with your guard up. Your front hand, you're pushing forward with that jab again. But this time, you've got to use your imagination a little bit, okay? Pretend somebody is firing a straight punch back towards you. You've got to slip out of the way. So you're just twisting your shoulder to avoid that punch, okay? And then your backhand will follow through with that cross punch. So again, on your toes to start off with, push in on that jab, slip out of the way, backhand cross punch, okay? We're going to do five off one side and then five off the other side, okay? So boxing stance, guard up. Are you ready? On your toes, guys. One, jab, slip, cross. Perfect. Back on your toes. Two, jab, slip, cross. Keeping that guard up. Three, jab, slip, cross. Perfect. Stay on your toes, guys. Four, slip, and five, slip, slip. Okay, so swap that stance over. So now you've got your opposite foot to the front. So this time your right hand will jab, you will slip the opposite way, and your back hand will cross punch again, okay? So on your toes, guys. One, jab, slip, slip. Perfect, stay on your toes. Two, slip, slip. Back on those toes again. Three, slip, slip. Here you go. And again, four, slip, slip. And one more, five, slip. Perfect, okay? Give yourself a shake off again. So now we're going to add onto the end of that combination. So back into your original stance with that guard up. You've got your jab, slip, cross, what we've just worked. Now you're going to put all the way onto your side. Your front leg you're going to lift with a roundhouse kicker, okay? So your foot comes into your bum and then you flip out from there. So if I turn sideways, you've got your jab, slip, cross punch, turn nice and sideways. Your front leg will lift and flick with that roundhouse kick. So you've got 45 seconds on one side, and then we'll swap that stance over, okay? So, boxing stance guard up, guys, on your toes. Off you go, 45 seconds. Good, make sure you're nice and sideways for this round out kick. Perfect, good work. Step back in between, guys, stay on your toes. There you go, remember those sides and those guys if you're at home, guys. Perfect, keeping that guard nice and tight. Note down these guys are stepping back in between their on their toes. Often good work, guys. Ten seconds left on this side. Here. Perfect, keeping that guard nice and tight. And time. Okay, so give yourself a shake off. All we're going to do, swap that stance over. You've got 45 seconds on the other side, okay? So again, jab, slip, cross. Remember, turn nice and sideways so we can't see your back shoulder. Your front leg lift again with that roundhouse kick, okay? Are you ready, guys? 45 seconds on your toes. Off you go. Perfect. Make sure you're really working that chamber. There you go, good work guys. Okay, 20 seconds left. There you go, keep that backhand tight guys. 10 seconds left. Last little push when you push yourself now, try and get two more combinations in guys. Three, two, one. And time, perfect. Okay, so if you pause this video, get yourselves a quick drink. When you come back, Mr. Pritchard is going to take your rest of your content, okay? Hands feet together. Bow out, guys. Hi, guys. So we're back for part two of our content. Mr. Pritchard was doing our part two of our content, but his crying baby stopped him. So we've refilmed just for you guys. So we're going to move on to part two now. So first of all, we're going to bow in. Okay, so I've got Miss Burnett uh, and myself doing our combinations now. So we've just been doing some hand combinations with a little bit of kicking on there. We're going to mix it up and we're going to try and put both together now. So our first combination we're going to work is we're going to set through with a lead hand jab. 
push through and you're going to work that double jab into a lead side kick. So when you do a double jab, you need to make sure you're stepping as well as making sure you reach it, retracting, sorry, your arm back. So on your first jab, it is nice and long. Then you're going to pull your arm halfway back before you have a, another step and another push through for that second jab. And then from there, you want to be right on your side. You're going to chamber your knee right into your chest extend pushing away and re-chambering that leg so if i show you on the side you can see it a little bit better so from here i'm in my boxing stance to start with guard up nice and tight i push through one jab pull halfway back have a second jab that pushes me right onto my side and then push through with that lead side kick and then step back out back on your toes feel free to switch stance the more you can work both stances the better okay so we're in our stance miss murder I'm going to push him in that double jab, one, two, push and lift, really make sure to start with, you might want to do it slowly, so you really get your technique, if you watch how slow I do my side kick, this will improve your balance as well, okay, off you go guys, so look how Miss is pushing in, she's really taking her time on that chamber, obviously we want to do a few fast ones, and a few slower so we can really work the technique. So, Miss Burnett, if you turn onto your side for me, I'm really pushing on that jab. Look how Missy's arms nice and tight. Just make sure you've not got chicken wing out here. Protect yourself. Tuck that back elbow in. That's it. Just tuck that elbow in a little bit more, Miss. Great work. Okay, and if you spin round the other side for me, please. So, look how when Miss jabs, She's protecting her chin at all times, okay? Um, one, a couple more times, miss. Keep going, guys. What I want you to focus on is getting that side kick to the same height as your belly button, okay? If somebody's guards here, and especially for our leadership guys, keep going, guys, okay? When you're sparring, if you're throwing that kick higher, you're hitting onto somebody's arms. So try and make sure you're at this bottom height. So don't go too high. Keep it nice and just above that belt, okay? Couple more. Ten seconds left. Try and get two more in, Miss. Perfect. And one last one. And time. Relax, okay? Shake yourself off. Get your breath back. Remember, the taller you stand, bigger deep breaths, the faster you recover, okay? So you're going to add a back fist roundhouse kick onto the end. So again, you're pushing in with that double jab. One, two. That pushes you onto your side. You're going to lift chamber with that side kick. From here, your body weight transfers forward for your back fist, protecting at all times. As you lean back, you want to lean onto your back leg. Make sure it's pivoted right to the side. Lean onto that back leg and flick round the side. What I want you to really focus on is your knee and your chamber. If your knee twists and you're pointing down at this angle, you're putting a lot of pressure on your hips. You need your knee nice and high and extend through. So all together we go double jab, push onto our side, lead side kick, lean forward with the back fist, then snap through with the roundhouse kick, hitting with your shoelaces. Okay, I'll show you from this angle a little bit faster. Double jab. Side kick, back fist, round house kick, back on your toes, moving round, okay? All right, guys, off you go. That's it. I'm going to work about a minute and a half, guys. Make sure after that round house kick, you're really re-chambering and landing it straight down, okay? And fire it out. Perfect. So did you see on that kick then, when Miss threw the round house kick, she dropped it straight down? If not, when you do later on come on to your sparring, that back leg will get swept out of the way, okay? Um, right on your side this time, miss, for me please, this angle. Um, push in. Uh, back fist. Okay, so did you see how miss readjusted? Keep going, miss, as she started. So instead of trying to throw a jab from here in your boxing stance, because you don't get much uh, power or too much speed on it, Start in your boxing stance and really push through on them jabs, using your shoulder to push into it, okay? Couple more. 15 seconds. Okay, back to facing the front, miss. Let's see if you're as fully sideways as Miss Burnett. If you can see her shoulder, please shout and tell us. And she's got loads of burpees to do. Okay, on them toes. One last one, miss. And time, relax, okay? Good work so far, guys. 
remember, try as you do it to use both stances. Don't just stay with one, work both stances, okay? So our next one we're gonna work is we're gonna work the rear front kick into a lead side kick. So we've warmed these legs up lots, we're gonna make the use of them while they're nice and warm. While they're warm, they're a lot more flexible. So our back leg pushes away with that rear front kick. That lands to the back, you're then gonna turn right to your side, push with your lead side kick. Reach in and drop it straight back down. If you can to get speared up a little bit faster, just be careful. Um, if you've not been with us very long, you get back into your stances constantly all the time. So rear front kick, land on that kicking stance, push through with your side kick. If you notice on my side kick, after I've done my front kick, I'm right on my side and I have a push in my back leg to advance forward. So if you want a little bit of a challenge, try and advance half a mat a little bit in wherever you're doing your workout, okay? So rear front kick, push in with that lead side kick back on your toes, okay? Off you go, guys. So rear front kick, that's it. Start off slow so you get your technique great. Remember, not too high on your side kick. Dad, nice and tight, clinch them fists so you're all ready to go. Push and push on that side kick, good work. And push. Okay, if you can, try and advance forward. Don't push too much. If you saw them miss push a little bit too much and she just lost the balance, okay? So don't push too much, guys. Rear front kick and push. Perfect, so look how Miss was nice and strong there. How strong are you? And can I ask you to spin round, Miss? And off we go. Rear front kick, push in with that side kick, well done. Is your back hand nice and tight? Is your front hand there to protect you? Okay, let's give Miss a challenge. Let's switch stance, Miss, for me, please. Rear front kick, and then push in with that lead side kick. Good work, can you switch stance? Okay, it's very tough sometimes to switch stance, but this is a simpler combination, so it might be a little bit easier for you to do, okay? We've got 10 seconds left, keep pushing. Let's go, Miss, try and get three in. Go, push. And how many can you get in? Go, go, go. And one more, miss. And well done, okay. Fantastic work. Get your breath back, okay. So guys, that's the end of our workout today. We hope you've enjoyed it. Please make sure you keep working, you keep focused, you keep listening your best, okay. For you juniors, make sure you're trying your hardest at everything you're doing, okay. Guys, we're gonna put our hands and feet together. And bow out. Okay guys, hope you grabbed a quick drink there. We're going to move on to our cool down stretch now. This is one of the most important parts of our lesson. If we don't cool down right, that's when we're going to pull some muscles, okay? And that's the last thing we want to be doing, okay? So first of all, we're going to stretch these legs off. So like the lunge we worked earlier, we're going to go into that position. So I'll show you from the side. You're going to, instead of dropping my knee down like I would on a lunge, I'm going to keep both feet facing forward. I'm going to try and push my heel to the floor. But one of the most important things with this stretch is that you don't let your knee go over your foot. If it does, you need to step out further, and this is going to really work our groin and our quads, which are just here on the top of your legs, okay? Really push through, try and get your heel right on the floor, stay nice and straight. That's it, miss, try and push right forward with your knee. And we're going to hold it for about 10 seconds, and then we're going to switch sides, okay? Really push through on your hip and push on your back leg, okay? And switch sides, same again. So if that knee's starting to go over your toes, step your foot out, keep your back leg straight and push forward with your hips. That's it, nice and tall with your chest. Perfect, so you're gonna switch back to your other leg, you're gonna go into the same position, but this time you're gonna drop your knee to the floor and you're gonna push forward with your hips. This is stretching more of that groin from here again, don't let your knee go over your foot, really push through, this will help with our front splits as well, um, so if you are practicing on your split, please make sure you work this one, this is a great one for activating them front splits. And from there, what you're going to do is sit back up, you're going to wriggle your leg out as far as you can, try and keep your body in one line so it's pushing forward, okay, from here. If you need your hands, if not, hands on your hip, make sure your toes are pointing to the ceiling and reach that. 
Okay, try and take your chest down as well now. Move more onto your hamstring. Okay, and pull it slowly in. Okay, I'm going to leave my spur neck that way. Now I'm going to show you from this way. So, foot forward. Okay, other leg. Push your hips forward. Again, don't let your knee come over your foot. Okay, that's it. Really push through. And then front foot, pull back. Wriggle it out as far as you can. Remember, you don't want to go off at an angle. You want to be straight in front of you, pushing forward. Keeping your chest nice and tall to start with. Some of you might be able to touch down on this one. Uh, with your groin and your hamstrings, okay. That's if you're very flexible. You've got to keep working to try and get them front split. And keep them toes nice and high. And slowly pull it in, guys. Okay, up onto your feet. Just give your legs a little shake. Okay, so this next one's going to test your balance at the same time as we stretch our legs. We're going to balance on one leg. If you do need to grab hold of something to help you, that's fine. So you're going to grab your leg from here. Keep your knees together and push forward with your hips. Try not to grab with the opposite hand. Grab with the same one and really push through. Please don't look at anyone next to you because you might wobble off balance like I did. Uh, focus on the spot, work that focus that we know you're all good at and switch sides. Again, focus on the spot. If you need to use your arm, other people have used holding their ear to help them. Let us know how you balance the best doing this one, whether it's your arm, your ear, focusing on that spot. Okay, shake them legs off. You're going to pull one arm across the other. So you pull it across your body and then your other arm comes up and traps it in and pulls it nice and tight. So from here, it's nice and tight to your body. If you can't feel it on the shoulder of the arm you've got, look over that shoulder. That's it, keep pulling it nice and tight. And release. And switch sides, pull it over, pull this one in. Okay, if parents are with you or someone's there to help you, they can have a little extra pull across this chest. Can you feel the difference there, miss? Yeah. yeah, so it puts more of a stretch on our shoulder and we can help each other out, making sure we can stay nice and supple, okay? So our next one going to work, our hand comes over our shoulder and use your elbow and push it down. Use your hand on your elbow and push it right down your back. So as you can see, you try to aim to try and get right down your back with your arm and then keep supporting it with your other arm, guys, okay? And switch sides. And pull it down. Try and keep your chin and your chest up. Don't let your body curl over. And from here, you're just going to relax. Just give your shoulders a little roll. And you're going to put your ear to your shoulder. That's it. Don't bring your shoulder up, though, because there's no point in that. It's nice and easy. Okay, you want to put that stretch on your neck and your lower back. Uh, higher back, sorry. And then roll it round the front to the other side. And then one last one, drop your chin down to your chest, just like Missy's doing, right down, keeping that back nice and straight, okay? And um, we're just gonna circle our ankles and wrists. Guys, we hope you enjoyed yourself. Keep working hard, keep practicing. The more you practice, the better you get. We're gonna put our hands and feet together, and we're gonna bow out.